Welcome Ozzy Griffin and this is a response to Jordan Allen 42's uh, video about porn on a plane. Dude, this is a perfect example of why I'm not a huge Ayn Rand fan, I'll be honest with you. However, uh, I'm not an objectivist. This is a perfect reason why I'm a minarchist. This woman was out for blood. This woman was out for her power tripping and her own ego satisfaction. Some people always say, oh, men and their egos. Well, this woman sure acted like a man. She went uh, and completely tried to bypass every good, logical, reasonable uh, level of compromise that was available. And there was a lot. This guy was already showing compromise by looking at porn when almost everyone else was asleep. Now, a reasonable individual could have said, I've got personal history with porn. I can't help uh, myself from seeing it out of the corner of my eye. Could you shut it down? He, if this guy was that reasonable, he probably would have said, yeah. Just, you know, watch something else. You're like, seriously? And she'd be like, yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm fine. He'd grumble, yet he'd do it. Now, then you've got the fact that she goes straight onto the court of public opinion on YouTube and and starts wailing about the guy looking at porn on a plane. Oh, and almost everyone else was asleep. This was a perfect power trip. I mean, she tried the court of public opinion with the other passengers, which is why she raised her voice. She tried the um, flight crew, and they were good enough to stay out of it. And even though one woman shut her down, she still went to the um, tarmac guards and asked them about it. If she could have done so without being uh, stomped by an air marshal, which probably would have been hilarious, she would have gone to the captain and asked that guy to be shoved off uh, out of an airlock on the plane. Which, I'll grant you, would look awesome looking at porn in free fall from a passenger jet. Uh, I think we've all dreamt about that, and I think it would be awesome. That's just me. This is why I'm a minarchist. That way, it's the least number of people interfering with anyone's life in any from any angle, in any way, for any reason, and the reasons they have to give have to be good ones. So, yeah, this is why I kind of, I, I, I have to say this woman is a perfect example of a power-tripping, almost sociopathic lefty. They spotted their prey, and they found an excuse to go after them. And when people asked for a reason, all they had was an excuse. So she got politely told to sit the hell down and shut up. Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin. I hope this has uh, offered some great psychological insight. I'll throw in a link to an uh, uh, interview about Labyrinth of the Psychopath uh, author. Uh, I can't remember the fellow's name right off the top of my head. He's done some great work. He'll definitely look at his four signs of a psychopath and see where this woman ticks any boxes. I'm Ozzy Griffin, and check her drawline because she's probably got a lot of testosterone. Hooah!